Next stop, Robbie's Marina. Now this is what I thought the keys looked like. Ramshackle hideaways with a little attitude thrown in. We were here to catch a skiff out to Lignum Vita Key. Go ahead and kick it up a little bit. Get you out to the key. Hauling tourists out to an island didn't seem like bad duty. Our definition of work in the Florida Keys is a very broad definition of work. Besides having an opportunity to be on the water, we wanted to see Lignum Vita Key. Once a haven for conquistadors, pirates, hermits, and the anti-Castro movement, we decided to visit because of its virgin tropical rainforest. Our first stop was an orientation with the park ranger. He explained that the key's namesake, Lignum Vita, is a unique and valuable hardwood. Europeans thought its oils could cure syphilis. Unfortunately, it only made the symptoms go away and not the disease but it did have other uses. Parts and pieces to your boats made from lignum vitae fine. Um, bearings, in fact, the, uh, the first atomic submarine, the Nautilus, had lignum vitae bearings. The ranger station is housed in a cottage built in 1919 by W.J. Matheson to house the island's caretakers. Matheson was a wealthy chemist who bought this key as well as Key Biscayne. It's changed very little since then. A windmill once generated the power, and fresh water came from a cistern supplied by rainwater. The state took over in 1970 and has run it as a park ever since. Its unique vegetation didn't disappear. Most of the other keys have lost their native plants. Trees and bushes with strange names. Strangler fig, mastic, pigeon plum, Gumbo Limbo, and one you need to watch for, Poison Wood. This is Poison Wood, supposedly five times stronger than Poison Ivy. It's got that calico look with the, uh, the orange bark underneath there. Some of the names show a disdain for the comfort of tourists. It's called a tourist tree mm -hmm. because it's all red and peely. We also found examples of the Key's namesake. This isolated island is full of history and gives visitors a chance to experience a living museum. Far too soon, we were back on the boat. There were no complaints. 